Hey guys, King Gath here. I am back from vacation and ready to tackle all of these bug reports. Uh, so the first and most common one I'm seeing is that a lot of you are having trouble getting the mod up and running. Now, uh, uh, one of the most common problems is actually that there are versions of Nexus Mod Manager out there that are struggling to handle large archive files. So uh, while Nexus should work, especially with the latest version, uh, it's not for some of you. So there's another way you can install the mod. Uh, the other way to do it is what's called a manual install. And I'm going to walk you through uh, one of those now, and then I'll show you how to check and make sure that everything is installed perfectly so that you can get Sim Settlements up and running. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come to the Sim Settlements page and click on Download Manual. And then down here, you'll find the, the main file and you'll click Download Manually. Now what this will do is just download the file that uh, Nexus Model Manager downloads in the background for you generally, and you're just going to extract it yourself. So if you don't already have the program 7-Zip or something similar, you're going to want to get that. Uh, I will include a link below in the video description, uh, but all 7-Zip is is a free extractor for the type of archive files that, uh, ne uh, that Nexus Manager excuse me, the Nexus site uses for mods. So uh, I've obviously already got it. I'm gonna wait for this file to download uh, and then we will uh, extract those files manually and I will show you exactly where to put them. So uh, while we're waiting for that to download, what you'll wanna do is open up your Windows Explorer and you're gonna find your way to your uh, Steam install, which is generally under your program files directory and then there'll be a folder called Steam and then in Steam. And by the way, I will include uh, these paths and things in the description. So if I'm speaking too quickly, uh, don't worry about it. You'll be able to follow those. But you're essentially looking to get into your Steam directory. And then inside of Common, you'll find your Fallout 4 directory. So this is going to be uh, where all your files live that run the game. Now, mod files all go inside of a folder called Data. So uh, as you can see in here, all of my ESP files, which are the main mod files, and some of them have these BA2 files, which are what hold all of the data with the mod. So uh, one of the issues a lot of you guys are running into with Sim Settlements is that the Nexus mod is, cop or excuse me, the Nexus mod manager is copying over what's called the ESM file, but it's not copying over the actual archive file. So you see here I have three files. I've got sim settlements main and that holds the scripts and the models and things. And then sim settlements textures, which holds the, well, it holds the textures. Uh, and then the ESM file is, uh, it kind of ties all this stuff together into a way the game can read it. So if you don't have these three files, that's a good sign you need to do this manual install. Uh, so once you have this downloaded and you uh, have 7-zip installed, you can right click on it and go to the 7-zip menu and uh, you're going to, you can either extract it right here uh, or you can click on extract files and then navigate your way to that Steam folder again. I find it easier to just open the data folder myself here. Cancel this out, go to 7-zip, extract to this folder so that way they're in their own folder inside of here. And then when that's finished, we can simply copy and paste them. So, so that finished, so we scroll down there's our folder. We're going to grab these three files. This faux mod folder, that's something that the Nexus mod manager uses. You can completely ignore it. You just want these three files and we're going to control C to copy them. Come over to our data folder, control V to paste them. And now I'm not going to replace them because uh, I have made some changes and the, a new patch should be coming out uh, later this week. But uh, so anyway, you hit, so you paste those in there and then that is all you do for the manual install. So now once you've done that manual install, you have two options. If you're using Nexus mod manager, you're going to want to come to this plugins tab over here and make sure that simsettlements.esm is checked in. So you check that in uh, and then launch Fallout and you should be good to go. Uh, if you don't use Nexus Mod Manager, I'm going to, then you can use the mod menu in the game. Uh, and then for those of you who maybe already had those three files, so say you already had these three data files when you came in here and the mod is still not working for you. Well, the first thing I have to say is make sure you watch the quick start video. Uh, you might not have noticed the uh, information about the holotape and where it is in the game and how you can get that because you actually have to run the holotape before the options will show up 
in the build menu in your workshop. So make sure you watch that quick start video. Now, if you've already watched the quick start video, you already had these files installed and it still isn't working, uh, then you're gonna wanna do what's called a clean save. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So, um, and I, at the same time, I'll also poke in to show you the mod menu in the game. So I'm gonna turn this off so that I can show this to you. Uh, if you're if you're going to try and follow along, do the same. Disable the mod uh, and then load into the game. So we're going to load into the game now. What what we're trying to do with a clean save is essentially make a save that doesn't have sim settlements installed. So a clean save just means if you're if you're talking if you're a modder, a clean save means a save with no mods. But for our sake, for just fixing your sim settlements installation, a clean save is just going to be a save that doesn't have the sim settlements mod attached to it. So uh, by loading the game without that mod, uh, we're able to, to remove the mod from our save file. And I'll show you how to do that now. All right. So before I show you how to remove the, the save file, I'm going to show for the people who don't have Nexus Mod Manager, you just come into the mods uh, section of your game, just like you do for other mods. Uh, and you would go ahead and go down to, hey, where are my mods at? Oh, you can actually go to the load order tab here. Uh, and uh, you check it in here if you wanna enable it. Or if you're trying to do the clean save like I am, you'd make sure it's unchecked here. So. Uh, check in sim settlements if you're just trying to uh, make sure this is working for the first time if you're trying to do the clean save go ahead and uncheck this right now all right so now i'm going to load into a game that i know has uh, sim settlements on it which looks like this exit save does so now that i'm loading in it's going to warn you that you've disabled sim settlements now if you had a obviously in this save i already had some buildings built so i didn't have the problem uh, but if you were to disable this while you had buildings created from sim settlements uh, you're going to end up with a lot of floating items, so I don't recommend doing this without first deleting the plots. Uh, but I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you've never got a plot to work, so that's nothing you're con you should be concerned with. So just pop on in, ignore this warning if you get it. And essentially what we're doing is loading the game, and then we're going to save it again without the mod, because once you save without the mod, after it had it previously, it essentially uh, removes the information from the mod more or less there's it's more complicated than that but for our purposes that's good enough so as you can see in the little preview screen it had showed a few plots here they're gone now so now this save if i save it again so we'll just create a new save now it's essentially removing the mod requirement so it's clean uh so then we exit out of the game and then come back into your plugins tab on nexus mod manager check in some settlements and load the game again and now, if, again, if you weren't using Next Manage, Man, Nexus Mod Manager, uh, instead, when you get back in the game, go to the Mods tab and, and check it in on your load order. So once you do that, you should everything should load correctly. Uh, you can you should be able to find the holotape in the position that is described uh, in that video. Uh, I'm not revealing that openly in case people enjoy the the hunt for the holotape. So, uh, but there are videos showing you guys exactly where it is. So, it, so I'm imagining most of you having this issue either didn't know about the holotape uh, or you had a Nexus mod manager fail to install correctly. So, hopefully this works out for everybody. If you still if you still continue to have problems, feel free to open a bug report uh, describing exactly what you've tried on the nexus page and i will see what else i can do for you but uh, the mod is definitely functioning there are just some install issues occasionally with the nexus mod manager software so i uh, hope that works out for you guys i'm going to post a few more videos similar to this for other common issues to help you guys through uh, continue to uh, let me know if you're having any trouble and we are going to get all of you squared away